Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Veilguard where I'm just trying to what was I I literally said what I was gonna do like not five minutes ago and and I know I wanted to get did I want to do something before these guys I know one second I'm going back into my codex entries and I'm gonna look up Navara stuff this is what I think they were talking about. I, they said they're like the Order of Fiery something, and I was like, that sounds so familiar. Why does it sound so, full, so familiar? This was a while ago. But the Order of Fiery Promise, this is the entry from Inquisition by Brother Jenna TV. Love him. Uh, consider the time in which the original Inquisition existed. The first blight has devastated the world, had devastated the world, tearing down the mighty Divinity Imperium and leaving nothing in its place. Just as there were several cults of Andraste vying to become the true inheritor of the Prophet's faith, there was more than one group claiming to represent the one true path to deliver the world from chaos. The Order of Fiery Promise was one of these, a band of men and women who decreed that not only was the end of the world nigh, it was necessary. Thetis must be cleansed with fire and reborn as a paradise. This they solemnly promised. They devoted themselves utterly to seeing this come about. Whether they ever drew closer to their goal is unknown. The Inquisition eventually crushed these promisers during a battle only recorded as the cleansing of Cherno. The cult reappeared in the early Divine Age, the er, the first Inquisition, not the second. The game Dragon Age Inquisition is the second Inquisition that happened in Thetis' history. Uh, the cult reappeared in the early Divine Age, claiming to take up the Inquisition's mantle after it had transformed into the Seekers of Truth, leading, the Chantry hunts, leading to Chantry hunts that did not see the Promisers eliminated again until the Exalted Age. Funny, they got crushed by the Inquisition, and they're like, but now we're taking up its mantle, and the Seekers were like, absolutely not. You know? Um, but it was, it was something that the Order of Fiery Promise did, the cult down south, that made... Um that interested the woman who did the demon experiments on Lucanus. Oh, uh, what was it that they did? Cleanse with fire and reborn. I mean, the Order of Fiery Promise, I think that might be the group that we fight in Origins. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know. Uh, no, because he would have mentioned that in the Pursuit of Knowledge, because he was there. Genitivi was there at the... Temple of Sacred Ashes. I don't think that might be... That was one that turned to dragon worshipping. That that cult turned to dragon worshipping. So I don't think it's them. Okay, so yeah, the Navara thing. Brother Genitivi says that it took... It was really hard to get in because the Chevaliers from Relay kept turning him in at the... Turning him around at the border, but he finally got in. And the whole country is filled with artistry from the statues of heroes that litter the streets and even the meanest of villages to the glittering golden college of magi in cumberland so they probably they have a probably have a degree of freedom in the college of magi and they call it the college of magi they don't call it a circle it looks was what it looks like um but then there's the vast necropolis outside navarra city so okay they don't yeah so it's kind of egyptian at least in like they prepare their dead and the nobles who can afford it uh, will sometimes spend, like, their whole lives preparing their tomb within that city, you know? Um, but yeah, they carefully preserve the bodies and seal them in elaborate tombs. And in the To Winter Nights book, the short stories compendium, there's a couple stories, I think at least one that has, yeah, the necropolis in it. And it was interesting. But, um... Yeah, I'm getting tired. Oh boy, no, I cannot. I'm gonna get Emmerich, who is a potential romance, um, but also it might actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, it, might be weird because if he's a professor, I'm not sure where we're at, like in relation to like the power scheme or the what is it, the power dynamic, you know, the authority dynamic. <laughs> also in here is where I'm hopefully gonna put the skeleton, a giant skeleton, <laughs> at least at some point. Um, okay, really quick, I do actually want to just straight up fast travel here and see if Nev wants to talk to me, if she's around. We'll see. Oh, no. Waypoints must be rediscovered. I'm surprised they would not have left this alluvian here. 
The safe house has been destroyed. Where is everyone? What did the Venatori do to the Shadow Dragons? There's so much blood. The Viper. More new faces in Darktown looking for work. Say they're refugees from the front, but the scars tell a different story. The shutdown of that textile mill north of Aserial was all over the broadsheet. Story says sold. Story says sold to new owners, but word on the street says it's another successful slave rebellion. I'm just in just the past year. The South Nosin shipyard, the caravan moving slaves to Ventus, the mines and the hundred pillars. Perhaps more if they keep kept it quiet. If you know who to ask, and you ask about the rebellions, you'll hear about the Viper. They say he arrives, helps the slaves, finds them new lives, and disappears. I like the sound of it. Slave rebellions used to get put down easy. Something's changed. Is it just this mysterious Viper, or is there something else going on here? I would say that it's because of, um, Fenris also, but it's probably the Shadow Dragons. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> Unstoppable execution, what? You scared me. Wow, he is intense. We are just wrecking this guy, honestly. Like, right up in his face is how I mean that. Like, he has no room to breathe. It's just three people beating him up. No way the Shadow Dragons let the Venatori in here. Look around. Someone might have left us a clue. Quest acquired. Yeah, I need to do this first. I feel bad. Like, it's one thing to get more companions, but, like, I shouldn't have been in the ones I have, you know? A candle hall. Oh! They carry messages through the city. They're kind of adorable. Curious about you and you of us? Other candle hops? Fine, please. What? They are sentient. Is this for us? No, oh, God. Strange. Who wants us to find more? Okay. Nope. I don't, don't like that. I do not like that. There is so much blood, but there's no... This is the shop. Oh, no. Word from Viper, Venator moving to eliminate us. No one is safe. I'll be waiting in that loading area near the docks. Meet me there. Hector. He used to yeah. go to the pawn shop's entrance. No. Nev mentioned and it. We in he was waiting for someone near the market. He might still be there. We introduced ourselves to him. Lorelei. I thought Lorelei might be from Ferelden, from the way she called her assistant pup, and how she seems to be just a little more interested in news about the South than most people I've met up here. During the Fifth Blight, Taren Legane sold people from the Denerim aliens to Deventer slavers to fund his war. Lorelei is one of those people. She doesn't want to talk about what happened, but it sounds like she joined the Shadows after they helped free her in a rebellion they supported. Lorelei wears a little wood carving of Denerim's Benedal. Tree of the people. It's one of the things she kept from there. The slavers took everything else. Dang. Yeah, no, that's old. That's from Origins. So they are calling out some of that stuff when Terran Logan did sell elves from the Denerim alienage to fund his war. Which was a really difficult thing to read, to, to read about, or experience, you know, not even read about. Oh. Oh, God. I wonder if I made a. I, it, I don't think there's a right or a wrong choice, but it feels like it. But I, if I'd have gone back to Treviso, I would have seen people dead in the streets. You know, like I would have seen blighted people dead in the streets. Oh, they have the Mephra at helm. This is. I didn't know I could think even less of the Venatori. And the people? Are they... They're all shadow dragons? Wow, this is really horrible. I'm almost getting used to this city again. But it still needs fewer Venatori. 
What a terrible thing to say <laughs> in this moment. I'm sure that was like predetermined. Like, but we're standing in the middle of the corpses of the people we were supposed to be helping. And he's like, mm, I'm just getting used to this city. It's like, uh, it's bad out here. So many dead or injured after the dragon. Now Venatori grab anyone they please. If I was an elf, I would leave. They, elven blood has more magic in it a little bit. At least uh, from what I remember in the canon. And Venatori would have no qualms about yoinking elves off the streets if there's nothing to stop them. But where's like, so here's here's my other thing. Here's, 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 here's my other thing. Where's the Archon? Hmm? The guy who's supposed to be in charge, the entire magisterium, you know, like, they can't all be bad. Like, they can't all, even if they're not great, they couldn't all agree with the Venatori, you know? And where's the, the divine, the, the Tevinter divine, who's, like, c traditionally called the Black Divine, at least in the South, but he's the Tevinter divine. But, like, where are all these leadership? Are they all bad? Like, that's too easy, you know? Like, maybe some of them are hiding? Grey Warden, are you? I thought I thought. Your rook. She was wearing blue. Investor. What happened? I'm here to help the Shadow Dragons, fighting Darkspawn in the catacombs. There weren't many when we started, but then the others said to run, get help. We can't leave the Darkspawn if they escape into the city. We won't let them. Just yeah. sit tight. Jeez. really really bad the consequences of my decisions where is this ladder oh okay. and it was nice to have Davrin for that oh a kitty oh I see no problem I can jump up on things uh, taller than I expect, honestly. Leaves notes on the pawn shop. Say Glan Glandivalis Square, and all of Dogtown knows what you mean. These official names in the city's records somewhere, but no one remembers it. Our own names stick around here. Glandivalis is the name of Shartan's sword. That sounds elven. Shartan is the elf who helped, uh, well, not the elf, but the one who led the elves who helped Andraste free everyone from slavery. Given to him by Andraste herself and used in his fight to free the enslaved elves of Tevinter. I learned that from a footnote in a history book. That's where all the real history is. Oh! Oh, like, she is not wrong. That is something that, like, in high school, I actually really didn't like history. I thought it was a really boring class. To be fair, all they taught in my history classes generally was American history, and the European history is, like, 300 years, you know? Like, 500, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's not, it, it's boring. It's like, oh, they came over. It's every year. It's the same thing over, over, and over, and over. Columbus came over, discovered the Americas. American Revolution, Civil War, well, it's just the same stuff over and over again. To me, it was just dates. It was just dates after dates after dates, and I could I was not good with numbers, and I was like, I don't, this is, this is the worst. I hate history class. And it was also usually given the short end of the stick, because they throw, like, PE teachers in there, because the American school system really devalues history, you know? And, like, and I think it's partly because, like, there's not a ton of, like, European, like, conqueror history, you know what I mean? Like, in Europe, you have, like, 2,000 years of, like, you know, wars and everything going on. Like, there's so much to get through. But, like, in the Americas, because we ignore a lot of the Native American history, because, honestly, if they did it properly, it'd be, like, 80% of the class would be Native American history, and, like, 20% of it would be, like, meh. Well, to be fair, you could put more weight on more recent events if you wanted to so but at least 50 50 as it is like you're lucky nowadays to get like a shout out for like the tribes for the area that we're that you're in you know they didn't do that when i was a kid um and so yeah i just but i remember distinctly like two different instances in a history class once reading about the last queen of hawaii was literally just like a little footnote like a like a little text box on the side and i was like what's that who's that what do you mean the last queen of Hawaii? What do you mean we went in and like, you know what I mean? Like they kind of sugarcoated it, but it's like, so we, we took over Hawaii. Like that was, we did that. Like, like we were Britain, you know, like what, you know? And then, um, 
and then the Trail of Tears, which was something that was brought up, I think, on like half a page. And I was like, really, I was really, really depressed when I read about it. Like, it was really, I didn't want to read any more about it, but that's kind of what history is about, right? Like, you don't want to read about the Holocaust either, but it's important to know so that people learn from the past, you know, or just remember, you know, like, just remembering that it that it happened, you know, that, that any of these things happened, you know, and by in that way, people's memories are kept alive, you know, even if it's vague and just associated with events. But like, yeah, obviously now I care very passionately about history because as a, in a college class, like in college classes, I figured out, oh, there's so many more different kinds, like the like, like culture and like myths and stuff was all really fascinating from all around the world. And I was like, oh, there's history classes dedicated to like the, I don't know, like 1300s to 1600s in like, you, you know, Europe, you know what I mean? Like there or something, you know, like just there's so much more of the world out there. And I was like, oh, dang okay, like, so that's what it's all about, you know, and that's when I opened my eyes to it all, but that, so no, it's just, she says that, but I 100% agree, and it was something I learned young, and then had to grow into as an adult, you know, and like, if you want to learn real history, like, like, or at least, you know, what, <laughs> that's a whole other thing, right, where it's like, who wrote the history books, you know, who's writing the history, who's, you know, all that, but like, if you want to learn more history than just the sanitized, scrubbed version they give you in like high school, you gotta look for it on your own. And then there's the Antavalium, the tun tunnels that run under the square. It turns out it's the elven word for womb. Some shadows believe it comes from a rumor that this was where Chartan's uprising was conceived. Asher loves his hitting meetings. Reason he insisted on this location should ask. He'll blush and deny it. That'll be the proof. He does seem like a blusher. He does seem like a blusher. I'm like, I, I can see that very, you know, quiet man who wears a mask, but you could see it. You could probably see it like coming up over the edge of the mask. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Asher. But, yeah, I did think it was weird when I was editing, I think, earlier, or, like, like walking around eating, and I was, like, thinking about Dragon Age, <laughs> and I was, like, we didn't really do much with that womb area. We were, like, we ran in, and we were, like, Venatori, Dark Spot, and we killed them, and then we were, like, okay, bye. And I was, like, we didn't, we didn't do much with that. I thought we'd go further into, like, I guarantee you under Tevinter there's some crazy elven ruins, you know? There's some crazy stuff in there. Oh, the shadow of our dragon. We're going to be talking about the banner. A, ba a warm banner signifying both where the shadow dragons have been and where they will be. It symbolizes warning, promise, and when it flies over Minrathis, it will scream freedom. Just kidding. It's the shadow dragons. I thought we were going to get into uh, some of the thing that I think, like, new lore we're potentially going to get on why there's two snakes, potentially a dragon and a snake, on the Tevinter flag. Also, like, not to, like, totally bring back Gillen on or anything, but, like, did you guys see the way her body was segmented and how it looked like almost like a, a partially autonomous lower half and then, like, but, like, with, like, a whole other torso set on top of the shoulders? And she moved so fluidly. It was wild. And, like, it, like, you could almost, like, see the shoulders, and it was, like, oh, uh, like, both sets of shoulders, and I was, like, oh, oh. No. People, people are not doing well. I knew, I just, I kind of hope that the Venatori would have, like, at least a semblance of, like, trying to keep order, because there's no point in a Tevinter that... Good, right? On an easy mark, sure. If you want to win, are you? You need different for the label. I know someone. Um. I don't know. I was just hoping they were like, you know, that they don't want to like rule an empty city, right? So I was hoping they'd keep people alive at least for the most part. Ooh, we got the Venatori. Where's, where's the entire magisterium? You had a governing body of mages, and this is what this is what happened to you guys? Like, I'm blown away, you know? Um, what? Is this just a blood magic ritual? They just stabbed a woman in the streets? Demons. Despondence, yeah. Why did I not hit that person? I see nothing. Yeah, what? I'm gonna need you to cease and desist that. 
respondents. Ow! Oh, we can't do anything cool. Oh. No, I am not okay. No, uh, this one I do not care about so much. I guess get rid of it. Thank you. I now have, I don't know, something powerful. What is going on? You That was crazy. And now the Venatori have control of the charm tree too. Everybody that was here is gone. Uh, I've been wanting to go to Minrathis for ages, and I'm like, JK, bye! You know, like, I'm so sorry, Minrathis. I'm sorry. Souls alone as the light left. I was there, less alone. It's a spirit of compassion. My own name, but what of theirs? Three I found, felled by demon claws, murdered. A connection I cannot see. I have impressions. But if I learn more, answers might unfold. This one, green against gray stone. Rain, nourish, how she watched it bloom. Find who she was. A compassion spirit. Interesting. Where's Cole? They left the trail. Sloppy, but useful. For who? For what? Hortensia's Garden Journal. Seeds, soil, a little more debt. But I can do this on my own. Whatever else I thought before. I just need time to grow again. The first blooms will be here soon. Everything feels better when that happens. The bright flowers and green leaves are all cheery next to the gray stone. We all need time to grow. Hortensia. She was a gardener. Green against gray. In debt, desperate, but still found hope. Sounds like a there lot of are people. Others, I would know more of them. So I, so one of those things. There was a discussion a long time ago that I saw that was like, well, if you're poor, then why are you buying like a thirty-dollar candle? You know, if you can't afford rent, blah, blah blah blah. It's like, why would you deny me? Like, you know, it's like this person's like once a month. I save up for like, you know, three months, like a dollar here, a dollar there, and I get myself one happy thing. Like, even if you're, like, I think it was, like, an argument against people getting anything nice if they're, like, on welfare or something. And it's, like, why would you deny people, like, not, like, happiness? You know what I mean? Like, a little, like, a little, like, a tree. I don't know how else to say it, but, like, a little something to keep the gloom at bay. Like, if you're just, bare, like, you're barely surviving, like, it, you know what I mean? Like, and, like, you need help. That That's that's something that happens to people you know but like why would you want them to live like caged animals like that you know what i mean like if somebody manages to save up a couple bucks here a couple bucks there and then can buy like their like a scented candle that makes them happy even while they're like poverty stricken like it's none of your business you know what i mean like so even in this situation right where it's like you know maybe you know you have so much student loans or whatever rent is impossible but it's like you manage to get enough like spare change to buy yourself like a, a, a nice piece of jewelry or something you know like i'm talking like a 20 dollar piece of jewelry you know something that makes you happy a little light in your life nothing wrong with that you know page one from a journal the voice was real the one in the shadows there was the sm same smell as last time too fog and burnt cinnamon and i kn it knows about the money the debt what am i supposed to do the temple is still closed how do i get out of this the voice made promises and i'm just so tired uh-oh a demon hey demons it's your boy i cannot get into the chantry can i nope Bye. I have things to do. I'm surprised they would let this remain. This is the only, like, Andrastian, like, Tevinter Andrastian iconography we've got. Is that a woman holding up, like, the power of the sun or the power of flame or whatever. Maybe that's Maferath, the betrayer on the side, or, like, the... 
Hesarian who, you know, Mercy killed her, but it looks like they're trying to show her more as like an influential, again, focusing on her being a, on her life and not her death because her death was inconvenient. What am I looking for? Inconvenient for the narrative that Tevinter would like to push. Investigate. Okay. We'll go go back. Oh, oh, kitty. <laughs> I would be interested more in the Chantry if they gave me anything, but they don't. So, <laughs> I get more from outside the Chantry of the Chantry Belize, which is a very fraction of anything than I do inside the Chantry. I wonder where Nev's friend is. I hope Nev's friend made it. Or Themiel Venue. She, oh my gosh, is this an entire wall of cheeses? Who are you? Unfortunate times we live in, he says, as like, there's like, a, basically a, a coup. Unfortunate times we live in. Some <laughs> cheese to cheer you up. Oh my gosh. The man good. just has so much cheese I'm glad of all things even if we couldn't keep content other types of continuity that we kept the cheese you know this statue is really pretty like it is nice to at least have one that's different oh I am near am I not am I going like totally the wrong way no okay that's just another quest that happens to be in the area but I am here looking I guess that other quest won't activate until I'm Another ready. demon killing. Oh, no, nope, there it is. Okay. While we're brain. here. Isolation. Despair. So, despair. Oh, we get a despair. Yeah. So we just have regular shades. Despair, but it's isolation. Vulnerable to fire. Too bad I don't have any fire. But I am good against demons. It does have the uh, the beam of ice that is just absolutely brutal. <sighs> that was rough. The Shadow Dragons are the enemies of Defender. Come to the Dockside Jail to see the fate of traitors and those who harbor them. Oh. Uh oh. The docks. Yeah. It sounds like the Venatori tracked down Hector and took him there. Venatori. Don't like the tone of that note. The spirit of compassion. Very I'm anxious looking. Victim. This one. A roof denied. Eyes skim over. Yet a world smudged in shadow, so beautiful. Find who he was. Blind? Maybe? Got a trail. Let's use it. Are you alive? I think they're drunk. It's the Randy Dowager quarterly, really. Battens down with the collected ties of the Archon, being a yarn of leaders entangled by passions unraveled and status reversed by court and cord. A tightly woven exploration of empires straining at its borders. The Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble of thought but spry of step. The lady herself says, well bound, as was the issue. Four scars fluttered in shock out of five, if only to reserve one for the wrist. A dog-eared and underlying quarterly missive, missive of suspect virtue. Indeed, indeed. How well, has the circle been? Getting used to the schedule? The lectures? It's fine. There's just quite a few high bloods and, well, I guess it's why I come down here when I have the time. It feels like I actually belong here. 
how does the circle even work now? Like, the Venatori have taken it over. You know what I mean? Like... But yeah, it's rough being a mage that's not from one of the, like, Tevinter Magister families in, um... Menrathus, in Tevinter in general. Don't mind me just trying to activate this thing. I don't know if I can even do anything. Or if he'll already be dead. Oh. Trouble nearby. So many dead. Venatory, stop them. This is working really well. Which not I don't think I'm quite sure how detonations work, because sometimes they are that body. Is that Hector? This guy that's partially in the ground no, I think that's a where? Oh over here. Damn it. We were too late. This is a message to the city. The Venatori are in charge now. Who are you? You were the one hey, sitting look, over here. I've news about Lodolai the fence. You were just sitting here. Lorelei. She ran the pawn shop, sold things. Yes, the Venatori found her. They took her to the docks. You have to hurry. You know what they do to shadow dragons. We're on it. Are you... I feel like you're lying to me. And all I'm gonna do is be running around killing Venatori who have already killed like all the shadow dragons, you know? <sighs> well, I've got something for Nev if she ever comes back. Yeah, this is kind of giving me like small anxiety, so I'm gonna go I'm gonna fast travel at least get halfway across the city and then run all the way down. Please. You wouldn't be hearing about it from the weekly truth. That's my point. It's only in the weekly truth because they're making sure we don't find out about it. Who's they exactly? Hmm. The palace, the magisterium. Can you blame them? Everyone's still shaken by that dragon attack. It would cause even more panic. They think the Archon's dead. Well, that would make that sense. That's where Rook found you, the ossuary. What else goes on there? Nothing good. How did you survive it? Shut down completely. Think nothing, feel nothing, except what you need to escape. What's left? If you're lucky, revenge and bad dreams. Yeah, I feel like we don't go into enough that he was, like, tortured for a year, and, like, yeah, in order to survive that, you would have to completely shut down, and yet somehow he's, like, very well-adjusted, you know? Here they come. Oh, golly, I hate fighting you people. How are you still able to do anything? That doesn't seem like something the Venatori would let stand, having free news. Just everywhere. Like has gone to the dogs. The Arkan doesn't care. I'm sure he cares a little. Hmm. If he does, it's only because his cats live here. Uh, interesting, though. The no Arkan. Executions. Like, where is the Arkan? Or the Arkan's probably the one being controlled. My hope is that the, the entire Magisterium wouldn't be a lost cause. And Dorian better still be alive or I will reload so far back. You know? I will do it. Uh, this way. Oh boy. Where are they at? Where are the Venatory dogs at? Or where the Venatory guys at? They're gonna get mad at me. You need to be taught a lesson for getting in the way of your betters. Ambush! Stop flipping around. Oh, I thought they were gonna send a wave at me every time. 
and I was gonna be very upset with that. <laughs> Well, search the area for anyone who needs help. So many dead bodies, and that's Lo I think that's Lorelai. Lorelai, this was hers. What did they do to her? So many people. I didn't think it could get worse. I don't think they even care if the people they're executing are really shadow dragons. It's anyone who's ever been connected to them or helped them. Many shadow dragons and their allies are in hiding. Yeah, but can I like find them? This is so rough and I am very sad. I, I feel like I did something wrong. But either way this would have happened. Hi! Despite still behaving. As much as ever. You live another day. And so do you. Spite would shred you Ugh. after I tore you apart. <laughs> Figured you more for a gentleman assassin. I'm a professional, not a gentleman. Mm -hmm. I get the job done. Manners don't come into it. You think you do it with a little bit of style, but maybe it's the sometimes on the job. It's like you can go into it with style, but like it hides like a all claws and teeth, you know. Um. I mean, I would like to find. Oh my. I would like to try to find the the shadow dragon. A Gatlock barrel. Could I explode that? What was that about? Oh, maybe... Can I not? I can't click on it, but we turn around. And we go straight back the other way we came. Oh, I got turned around. Need to go north? Yes. The Venatori have built ritual sites dedicated to the risen gods. Their open use of sacrifice of blood magic terrorizes the people. If anyone's out there, help is desperately needed. Signed, a friend of Venrathus. That is Venatori very causing trouble. bold. And the people of Venrathus are desperate for any help. Rituals for the risen. I do want to track that. I want to try to find Nev before I do anything. I know I've said that a gazillion times, but like, I... I would feel very weird going to get somebody else with this hovering over me still. So, but I should probably go. I do say I say that, but like I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind in the next episode. Haha. <laughs> but um, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. This was really depressing, but we'll get through it, and I'll figure it out. I know it would have looked just the same in Trevisio if we did picked it, you know. But oh, and letting the Venatori man, the the maybe that is shows that I'm very different from the Inquisitor, right? From my Inquisitor. Because my Inquisitor, I think, would have hunted the Venatori down like dogs, you know? Like, she's the dog and they're the prey, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, uh, she was very kind, but I picked the Reaper specialization for a reason. And, uh, she, or Reaver, I guess it was, that was uh, the one that was very, um, it was Iron Bulls. But, um, yeah, anyway, thank you for watching, and I'm gonna cut away and say thank you to my patrons now. Actually, as promised before in the last video, we're going to do codex entries really quick before I say thank you to Patreon. So, queue up two codex entries. The Veil. Ooh, baby. I detest this notion that the Veil is some manner of invisible curtain. This is some mage scholar. Um, I think, is this the guy who gets... No, okay, maybe not. Um, that separates the world. Oh, uh, I detest this notion that the veil is some manner of invisible curtain that separates the world of the living from the world of the spirits. Whether it be called the fade or beyond is a matter of racial politics I refuse to indulge in at the moment. There is no this side and that side when it comes to the veil. One cannot think of it as a physical thing or a barrier, even a shimmering wall of holy light. Thank you very much for that image, your perfection. Think of the veil, instead, as opening one's eyes. Before you opened them, you saw our world as you see it now, static, solid, unchanging. Now that they are open, you see our world as the spirits see it, chaotic, ever-changing, a realm where the imagined and the remembered have as much substance as that which is real. More, in fact, a spirit sees everything as defined by will and memory, and this is why they are so very lost when they cross the veil. In our world, imagination has no substance. Objects exist independently of how we remember them or what emotions we associate with them. Mages alone possess the power to change the world with their minds, and perhaps this forms the nature of a demon's attraction to them. Who can say? 
Regardless, the act of passing through the veil is much more about changing one's perceptions than a physical transition. The veil is an idea. It is the act of transition itself, a liminal space, one might say. And it is, the, it is only the fact that both living beings and spirits find the transition difficult that gives the veil any credence as a physical barrier at all. I was going to say, this sounds like somebody from Minrathis, and it is. For a dissertation on the fate is a physical manifestation by Marino, senior enchanter at the Minrathis Circle of Magi in 655 Steel. In Pharrell, in Southern Thetis, you would not have somebody talking so openly, uh, so respectfully, maybe, being so open-minded about the, these realms. Um, you can be a bit more theoretical, but usually you, you get stories like this in... Uh, Southern Thetis and the the um, whatever that is at the bottom right the dash blah 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 like who it's from where it's from etc it will usually have like a little tagline that's like and then you know this person spoke so highly of like exploring the fate and treating with spirits and blah 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 and these notes were found on their body after they were taken over and turned into an abomination something like that right almost cautionary tales you know Vitar! We're bringing up the Vitar! Nice. After extensive study of Kunari specimens you kindly provided, I've come to the conclusion that the painted markings on their face and body are not, in fact, solely for ceremonial purpose, but provide a practical benefit. I mean, you could have just... You could have just asked. I know that you guys were at war, but you could have just asked. Oh, I'm certain there is some cultural significance to the patterns and colors they choose, but, do, but the Kunari do nothing without purpose, yes? They call these markings Vitar, which in their tongue means poison armor. It's called this because the markings are magical in nature and actually harden their skin to an iron-like quality without hindering flexibility, and my analysis says the paint consists largely of poison. It's mixed with something else, blood, perhaps their own, and that neutralizes the poison, but only from the Kunari physiology. Anyone else would perish almost, perish almost instantly, remind, which reminds me, I'll kindly require another body slave. The process activates the magical qualities of the poison, which provides the protective effects almost in the same manner that lyrium runes do. How this works, and whether it can be used for our purposes, will require further study. Perhaps some live specimens this time? From a letter written by Nemeria Organis, apprentice to Magister Varus in the Dragon Age. Yikes! Um, oh my gosh, is that the Antiquarian? Our last one's gonna be Xenon the Antiquarian. Um, potentially. Um... Yeah, I forgot that it actually does harden the body, too. It's not just a poison. It, like, uh, has some kind of magic, which, again, is wild, because the Canari don't like magic. Why? Is he not going to show up in this one, too? Because why this seems like he, he wouldn't necessarily... He's brought up as, like, a little, like, Easter egg, it feels like, in the world. But, like, unless you're going to show him up again, why Why am I getting something on Xenon the Antiquarian and not my Warden or my Hawk? <laughs> I left the Black Emporium empty-handed for two reasons. First, most of the items were priced far beyond what I could afford. Second, I spent most of my short time there trying to sate my curiosity about its proprietor. I found myself stealing glances at the antiquarium from behind piles of books, between shelves, and at one point over a basket of mismatched so socks. There he sat, petrified, in the center of the Emporium, skin of waxy gray over ta ancient taunt sinew, moaning in a voice so dry and brutal it sounded like the snapping of twigs after a drought. A girl of not more than twelve scurried to and fro to fulfill his numerous requests. Another patron noticed my fascination and told me that the girl, most likely an urchin rescued from the street, was responsible for the needs of the antiquarian, washing, feeding, and the like. So impossibly old is he and so fragile is his skin, he can only tolerate the barest whisper of touches from the smallest and most tender of his servants. Only in this way may he come close to his lost youth, said the man. Weird. I was surrounded by objects of legend, yet none fascinated me as much fascinated me as did the antiquarian. From a journal page found in Kirkwall's Dark Town, written by an unknown author. Well. Cool. I wonder if he'll show up and we can go to his shop and buy some stuff. So that is finally all the World of Thetis entries. So, uh, since I decided, like, midway essentially to kind of split this up and put this at different parts this is the end of that so we won't have any more of those anymore if that brings you relief or not woohoo but this is sort of i guess this is like the base info they wanted us to have uh if you didn't know anything about the game going into it or only knew a little bit this is like the basic info they wanted you to have um and it is interesting for those of us who are like super in deep in the lore because it tells us what they are prioritizing potentially um or at least gives us an idea of what they would consider important to a super base generic version of Dragon Age. So, we've got that going for us. But yeah, so, it's interesting to read it all again. It's a good refresher for me. So yeah, we'll get back to regularly scheduled videos now.
All right, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling tier patrons, Reese Galito. Thank you so much. And Sebastian James. Thank you so much. I appreciate your guys' support. Uh, and I want to give an extra super special shout out to my Forest tier patrons who have gone above and beyond in their support of me and the channel and who I truly, honestly cannot thank enough. So thank you, Christopher, so much for your support. And thank you so much, Nightshade, for your support. I appreciate you both very much. And thank you all again for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.